Excellent! Hello, Internet. We are the INN. And as always, I'm Ted Reeves. And with me, my cyborg sidekick, Stu Pitt. We have some great news stories in store for you tonight. Our first comes to us from London. This story involves two star-crossed lovers gone bad. Merrick Oswowski Oz and his 34-year-old girlfriend, Anna, Anna, Anna. On another note, Anna is a dentist. And after the breakup, that's where the story turns bad. Merrick scheduled his dental appointment with his ex anyways. And when he got to the office, things went horrible. Anna put him under and pulled all 32 teeth. Hey, Stu. Yeah, Ted. What do you call a four-legged tooth in the Arctic? What, Ted? A molar bear. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. That's really that's a good one. Yeah. Our next news story comes to us from across the globe in Australia. And to bring us this story, our team correspondent, Bill Preston, is there. Bill. Bill, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, Ted. One moment, please. Yes, folks, today I'm in Australia, where two men went to war with one another, one wielding a samurai sword and the other a chainsaw. Now, Jorgensen and Thornton were their names. These two neighbors were long ago friends, until one saw green grass on the other side. And I'm not talking about going over and seeing the other's wife. I'm talking about the grass. It was literally greener and thus provoking this all-out street war. There was blood all over. The neighbors literally saw pools of blood on the street as these two men were carried to the hospital. Well, only one was carried, and really they shouldn't have been because their legs were still both intact. One almost had a severed arm, the other only lost a finger. If you ask me, these men were sissies. Now the moral of this story is that you don't bring a samurai sword to a chainsaw fight. And if you do, may God have mercy on your soul. Back to you, Ted. Thanks for that story, Bill. It gave me a tingling sensation. And now, for a word from our sponsors. Yellow Duck! Welcome back, Internet. Next up, with our weatherman, we have weather with Al Nino. Thanks, Ted. I'm Al Nino, and this is the weather. As you can see, we have a slight cold front moving in. Possible thunderstorms. But that doesn't mean anything in Montana. You wait five minutes, the weather changes. So what we're going to do is spin the wheel of magic. And today's weather will be... Rain. Sun. Sun. Today's weather will be sun. Back to you, Ted. And now I'm sending you over to get your sweat on with our sports analyst, Anna List. Thanks, Ted. I'm sorry to cut the sport short, folks, but we have some breaking news. Ted, I hear you. You need me? I'll be there in a jiff. And I'm here with a new vest. In other news, William Franz of Lolo, 55 years old, shot a Jaguar today. This was not just any Jaguar. This was a 1981 Jaguar. But the Jaguar didn't go down without a fight. In order to kill it, he also had to shoot a Ford pickup truck through two doors, two seats, and out the other side almost injuring other residents of the apartment complex in which he resides. When questioned, he said no comment, but then later gave us a comment, saying, I was just checking the safety. I asked him why, and he said, because I loaded the gun, and I wanted to know if it would go off. Bill, if you're out there, 
You're an idiot. Wow, Bill. Remind me to never ride shotgun with that guy. Now, next up, a new segment we like to call Stu's Stories. Oh, hi there. Didn't see you there, world. It's time for me to tell you a story. Today, I found $5. Alright, enough of that stoosh bag. Now, it's time for something I like to call TED Talk. Now, this is the time of the night where I can cut loose. I can tell you ladies what's on my mind. Give you a little bit of TED Vice. First piece of advice numero uno. Shave your shoulders. Don't believe me? Check out my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Advice piece numero dos. That means two. Wear bacon perfume. Don't got bacon perfume? Just rub some raw bacon all up on yourself. All over your places. Don't use cooked bacon. It'll burn you. Personal experience. Advice piece number three. Laugh at all our jokes, no matter how funny they are. Example, what do you call a kind of cool vegetable? Rad. Ish. <laughs> and my final piece of advice for those of you brave enough, ladies, wear ponchos. This has been TED Talk. I hope you enjoyed it as much as me. And now we're back from our personal segments to give you the final news story of the night. This news story takes place over in California involving 37-year-old male Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi was responsible for a hit and run that resulted in a five-car collision. When asked about the hit and run, Kenobi had this to say, I am not the one you are looking for. And that does it for that story, folks. And it's time for us to say goodnight. As always, I'm Ted Reeves, and with me, my cyborg sidekick, Stu Pitt. Blue Stay shit. weird, Missoula. Excellent!